Mavuno Young and PLS. Uh, it's so good to be back here. And my name is Paulette, and I'm here with my friend Nashi Musefu. Okay, okay. And we're really, really amped to be here together. So, Nash, it's been too long. Mm -hmm. It's been too long. I haven't seen you. We haven't been here. We haven't been in the camera. Of course, yeah. Yeah, but uh, we're, we're in the month of love. Uh, Are you excited? <clears throat> yeah, first of all, just a joke. I hear Santa Claus get crushed the wrong party. That the red he wore was for Valentine's Day. Yeah, by the way, yeah. by the way. But um, uh, just uh, to continue with uh, the last uh, week's last week right yeah, last, last week, week someone we've been talking about friendship and purity which are it's such an amazing topic i think uh, and it's very necessary in this time and age and um we've been learning a lot and people are in different spaces there are people mm -hmm. who are dating the people who are single and ready to mingle like hopefully like you <laughs> okay there are people oh there are yeah, people. people okay I, I okay okay and they are seeing there are people who are single and content Mm -hmm. not searching and there are those who are ready for marriage maybe looking forward for marriage and so excited and uh most of the times this topic um i think it people take it in two ways i can say in two ways because uh there are those people who have had this conversation mm -hmm. it's such an eye-rolling conversation because you've had it over and over again oh, you want to say eye-rolling uh, eye-rolling uh people from central eye-rolling which is fine uh we've had it over and over again and then for others it's such a so conversation uh character development true yes so mm -hmm. people are still hurting <coughs> and uh those are the two ways i think people take these kinds of conversation yeah, mm. yeah. and um pastor nash mm -hmm. which category do you for uh i'm in the eye roaring category eye -roaring. so you've had <laughs> yeah. this over and over yeah like sometimes when i hear this story i'm like ah i've had enough like uh, i've it's like yeah, there's, there's just a lot of conversations about yeah. uh, relationships, love, love and yeah. all that. Yeah, so so uh, no character development yet? Oh, well, I've, have, I've had quite a few character development, yeah. yeah so, good. yeah. Okay. Yeah, so, so I'm there. <clears throat> but no matter where, where you are, guys, um, I believe that there's something for you, there's something for you that God has to that god that god always has to say in every season yeah so there's something for you today and even through this series mm. yeah and last week we looked at uh we tried to answer your questions biblically that uh, is it possible to have friends to be friends without benefit mm. yeah and today we will jump into another conversation and today we will be learning from job <laughs> I found I finally found this guy. <laughs> I looked for this guy for so long. In the Bible. Yeah. Especially after high school. Oh yeah, I yeah. know. Oh we are uh, talking high about high school or, or after university. <laughs> after after high school oh, okay. for me, yeah. Okay. I looked for this guy, I didn't okay. find him. Now after you found university, him. I looked for this guy, I didn't find him. But today I found him. Oh, yeah. It's job, guys, not job. Yeah. So it's job 31 chapter 31, chapter 31, verses 1, 4, and 6. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And this is what it says. I will read. I made a covenant with my eyes not to look lustfully at a young woman. Uh, does he not see my ways and count my every step? Yeah. I have walked, if I have walked in falsehood or my foot has hurried, hurried after deceit, let God weigh me in honest scales and he will know that I am blameless. Mm -hmm. uh, what about to make Paulette? Yes, it is. Yeah, can you imagine saying such words in a world where there is there there is high level of sexualization? I can imagine. Mm -hmm. I can imagine, and I I think this is such a daring um, vow to make because mm. you know we are not blind. They are my eyes also. So yeah. uh, see me, I see what I see. Yeah, true, I, I really I see what I see, and um, I really want to see where this is going. So Nash, take us take us where this is going because they are my eyes and i see what i see <laughs> yeah so basically job, job here job, job is uh job is with his friends and he's trying to <clears throat> he's uh he's trying to reflect back back on his life and this uh specifically on the areas where he thinks uh he could have possibly gone wrong yeah mm. and so this is one of them so let's break it down a bit yeah so uh he says i made a covenant with my eyes not to look lustfully at a young woman. So Job talks of how he made a covenant, a vow, uh, a promise, a commitment 
with himself mm. yeah and that is uh, that is something so this is something sacred and it's something binding yeah in nature yeah can can i just ask mm-hmm. how possible is that in this day and age well okay. yeah it, to make this a, vow to make a, this covenant yeah. just not to look lustfully it okay. it is it is let me use the word uh tricky or challenging yeah. but it is something that is possible yeah, yeah. if he made this vow with himself it means even in those days it was it wasn't easy to make that vow yeah, yeah. True. well there's nothing new under the sun yeah, true, true. but everyone under the sun s o n is made new yeah. Yeah. Amen, yeah. Amen, <coughs> amen. okay pastor nash it's okay yeah so it was, so if job if job say say this and if it's written here it mm. means even in those times yeah it was difficult yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. so yeah. i know it was difficult yeah so mm-hmm. in other words he's saying that he that he he he, he his eyes and uh, and his conscience are the mm-hmm. parties involved in the covenant yeah, yeah. you get yeah. yeah uh and he says um that he will not look at any woman with a covetous eye. Mm. So there's this joke that we used to have okay when I was in campus mm-hmm. that when you see that lady passing by and you take a look <laughs> you know how guys can be talking then a lady passes by yeah, yeah? a lady who's been you know uh, we say that that was that was one of the ladies who was created very early in the morning by God. <laughs> because none has occurred yeah that god it. yeah okay. so we, we it, it was a joke it was a mean joke that we used to say that there are some ladies whom maybe god created them after the soil was almost getting uh, over uh, uh, uh. see please you continue with the verse that you were trying to explain yeah so you know how guys can be talking then a lady passes by yeah then they stop the conversation just to take a look you get <laughs> So <laughs> instead of calling that covetous we used to say, we used to say that we are just appreciating God's creation. That's right? what people say. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> But actually uh there is it's it's something deeper than appreciation. It's, yeah, it's because yeah, you get yeah. yeah. Well, some of you might say no, nah, but well, I will say it is what it is. Yeah. Yeah. So <laughs> Uh, so Job says that he made um it's such a that he made that vow not true look covetously mm-hmm. at a woman yeah mm-hmm. and it's between him his eyes and his conscience yeah mm-hmm. conscience conscience sorry yeah. uh and this is is doing this for the sake uh, of his conscience mm-hmm. not to be defiled and not to dishonor god yeah you get yeah, yeah. because i believe that our eyes are the inlet through which what is external uh, affects our hearts yeah true and true. this stirs something in us Yeah there's a verse that I read today in the morning yeah, yeah. it says the eye is the lamp of the body yeah mm-hmm. so it it just gives us a picture uh, of what how of um what you of how what you see what you expose yourself to yeah. matters yeah? yeah and also proverb says uh, guard your heart for out yeah. of it flows the issues yeah. of life yeah, yeah? so uh one way to guard your heart is mm-hmm. to watch your eye gate yeah? yeah your eye gate your ear gate yeah basically what what you let in into your heart will will affect or can defile you yeah. and it can it, it can be something that dishonor god yeah mm-hmm. but if you let in uh, godly stuff into your heart yeah it will keep your heart yeah pure, pure yeah. you get yeah. yeah so then then he says <clears throat> does he not see my ways and count my every step mm-hmm. yeah mm-hmm. Uh, and it is interesting uh, because what you choose to look at will may not play out on screen in cinemas yeah in 3D 7D uh, animation for everyone to see yeah yeah, yeah but it truly really affects the secret conduct of the heart mm. yeah and also it is not hidden from god who sees and knows all, uh, and knows all. Yeah. so there's this uh, there's someone who says that um, practical atheism um is not shouting that there is no god yeah it is living as if there is none and yeah. at most times if not all or sometimes we always convince ourselves that oh let me just see this thing i'm alone no one is watching yeah. but you're forgetting god is watching yeah, yeah. you get i think it's it's yeah. more like the way you're told character is who you are when no one is watching yeah yeah so it defines your character yeah it defines your character yeah, yeah. okay yeah so <clears throat> so um 
Yeah, so that's uh, that's what it's all about. God sees this, uh, the, yeah. all the things that we do. Yeah, yeah. there's nothing that is hidden from Him. Yeah. 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 Uh, then in verse five, He says, "If I have walked false in falsehood, <laughs> or my foot has hurried, hurried after deceit, let God weigh me in honest scales." <laughs> okay. I don't know about the rest of the verse, but this one here <laughs> scared my heart a bit. Yeah. yeah. Let God weigh me in honest scales, and He will know that I am blameless. The job was just. I think this is the verse where you have to check your heart. Genuinely, yeah, true. it yeah. just challenges you to check like your heart. Like genuinely. Yeah. And honestly, check yeah. yourself. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Very true. Yeah, because if it's God who you're asking to weigh to put you in honest scales. Mm. Yeah, then it just takes it to another level. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you get. Yeah, so most of the times we we, we <clears throat> most of the time uh, we take it that all these do's and don'ts don't cut it for us. Yeah, mm. and here Job illustrates that he understood the spiritual nature of God's mm. commandments. Mm. Yeah, and uh, and as reaching to the thoughts and intents of the heart. Yeah, and uh, God takes more careful. And, and we realize in verse 4 that God takes more careful notice of us than we do of ourselves. He mm. says, does he not see my ways or count my every step? Mm. Yeah. So let us therefore walk watchfully. Yeah. It just calls us to be careful <laughs> or, yeah. Yeah, with, our, with our walk yeah? mm. uh, in salvation, maybe as young people. Mm. Yeah. So check this. It was not merely Job's um, intention to lead a chaste life, yeah, and to avoid open sin, mm. yeah. But it was to it was to maintain a pure heart, heart and not to suffer the mind to become corrupted yeah. by dwelling on impure images and in, in indulging in unholy desires. What do you think about this poet? <laughs> First of yeah. all, I think that Job was such a magnificent man. He was quite a man. Mm. That's what I would say because he seemed to have lived such an intentional life, mm. which is something we lack True. a lot today. Mm. And uh, I think three, this brings us to the question of the day, which is being a virgin enough? Yeah. Is it all there is to it? Like mm. just being a virgin? Because let's talk about um, our culture today. Mm. So if I'm in a relationship or I'm um, uh, having, um, let, let me just say if you're in a relationship, mm. a dating relationship, yeah. and it's a Christian relationship mm. and you're not having sex, then it's fine. See, it's fine. See, mm -hmm. you're still a virgin. Yeah. And this is what we tell ourselves most of the times. Yeah, yeah, and even the Bible, I know most of the times even the Bible says it talks more about um more about adultery, fornication, yeah. and this and these are things that entail sex in itself. So if I'm not um, actively uh, sexually active mm. and I'm a virgin, then I'm good. But then um, we take it easy on things like petting, uh, pornography, masturbation. masturbation mm -hmm. You know, mm -hmm. because. It's not really intercourse necessarily yeah. so then it's all good and these are the things that this is where we fall yeah, yeah true. because most of the times when uh like i'm gonna give an example when you start doing these things it will eventually lead mm -hmm. to sex true, it true. will actually eventually yeah. lead to sex but then because it's not in the bible or it's it's not really something that a lot of people talk about or mm -hmm. rebuke then it's fine and that's that's what we we say but last week we laid some emphasis on the bible mm -hmm. um in the book of ephesians 5 3 mm -hmm. that there should not be even a hint of sexual immorality amongst ourselves mm -hmm. and in our relationship and uh, i think uh, in another portion of scripture which is matthew 5 48 mm -hmm. um we see clearly the warning being, but I tell you that anyone who looks at a woman lustfully has already committed adultery with her in his heart. Wow. <laughs> That's where we forgo. Like yeah, these guys, yeah. like you've just looked. You've not done anything. You mm -hmm. haven't even spoken to this woman. Yeah. You've just looked. And according to the Bible, no, these are the parts that we don't read. <laughs> This, are, this, this is, is where it becomes you, you the Bible becomes convenient you for you. Yeah. You don't highlight. Yeah, you, you know, you read yeah. the, the one for I no can, sexual immorality. Yeah, I'm good. Yeah. Yes. I can do all things through Christ. Who ah, amen. Me. Hallelujah. Yeah, yeah. Hallelujah. But now you forget. I'm gonna read it again. 
Matthew 5:48. But I tell you that anyone who looks at a woman lustfully has already committed adultery mm. with her in his heart. And on this basis, <laughs> let God be the one who's weighing your skills. <laughs> hey, I'm not here to judge because yeah. on this basis, <laughs> yeah, yeah. We need to check our hearts True. and we need to check uh, ourselves. Yeah. yeah. And so uh, one of the questions that um when when being among young people yeah. or people my age mates here, yeah, yeah. they normally ask na how far is too far you, you get yeah <laughs> and like see we can still do this and you know no, not end up doing this yeah yeah, yeah but there th- there's something that i learned from uh, one one of my peeps who who have been working with yeah he says uh, that when people ask that question yeah they sometimes they don't ask it not to uh, not to avoid getting there but to seek for a loophole yeah to encourage that act of being there you get mm. yeah, but now uh, the, the example that uh, he normally gives is now is uh, with Abraham and Lot yeah so Lot the bible says that Lot pitched his tent next to Sodom but now when you read the next chapter Lot is in Sodom. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm always like, why do you want to pitch your tent next to Sodom? Just stay away from Sodom. Yes. Yeah. Because when you'll definitely find yourself in, in Sodom. Sodom. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, you get. Yeah, I get yeah. it now. Mm-hmm. And I and I think this is something that we really, really need to check because um just these small things. You know, betting is such a small thing. And yeah. you know, it's just such a small thing. But then your heart, that deceitful heart your body the one that most of the times we have no control of <laughs> you're going to end up there and then that's it true yes yeah it's true yeah and so uh most young people especially especially when you're a young christian mm. uh there's this theme that has been going around the globe the world yolo like you only Yolo-y live once, once yes yeah? yeah. or you say nash or polet uh you guys normally say experience is the best teacher so why mm. don't we just do some exploitation yes. yeah let's experiment when we are still young yeah. you know what they say that experience at times is a good teacher but it costs you it uh it makes you pay high tuition fees <laughs> <laughs> Okay, yeah, for certain, yeah for, for certain for certain things yeah, yeah? you get mm. yeah which <clears throat> which uh as much as you're you're doing the yolo thing there are, there are some consequences that consequences that will result from uh from, from those stuff mm-hmm. now as you go through life yeah you yeah. get uh, and it is not entirely unwarranted now in this 21st century but it's definitely not excusable yeah mm-hmm. yeah um, and also in the bible we see in the book of proverbs and i want to tell you this yeah if you're young we normally say Uh, a proverb a day a chapter a day of proverbs keeps foolishness away (laughs) (laughs) yeah you get if you want to be wise study the book of proverbs yeah because i believe it talks about christ Mm -hmm. the bible says christ is not only power but also wisdom and to us yeah and proverbs is full of wisdom yeah Mm -hmm. so you get yeah so it's written with young people in mind extensively uh, and it talks about the consequences of uh sexual sin and the joys of purity. Mm. Yeah. Most most of us think that there's no joy in be, in staying pure. Yeah. In, it's not yeah, fun. Yeah, like it's no fun. It's not the end thing. Yeah. Yeah. But there's joy in it. Yeah, there, there is. is joy in it. For mm. instance, Proverbs 6:25 says, let me read, do not last in your heart after her beauty. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Or let her captivate you with her eyes. You know, at first when I was reading this, I thought maybe the last part of the scripture was written for me. <laughs> uh-huh. yeah, I'm just kidding. Am I? I don't know. Yeah, but the emphasis lies greatly on the fact that it is you who has the sole responsibility of taking charge of your body. It is you who has the sole responsibility of taking charge of your body mm. and how you act. Yeah, and I totally, I totally know as a young adult. Uh, But these urges are real men they are real yeah and they are true uh, do you yeah? want to share some uh, some struggles as a 21st century uh, man you, do you, you want to confess confess uh, i'm listening see, I've asked you first see you you first tell us your struggles well, i'm a gentleman ladies first uh, okay i'm I, kidding yeah. <laughs> okay uh-huh. yeah, um okay to be honest guys um 
because one of the struggles i think i've shared this in my some of my earlier sermons yeah mm-hmm. it was a struggle with now pornography mm-hmm. the eyes yeah yeah but when i was growing up i knew it was there but i just didn't care about it mm-hmm. yeah but i got introduced to it in high school mm-hmm. yeah i knew it was by responsibility uh to keep myself pure mm-hmm. but now i let it get to me yeah. yeah yeah from high school you get yeah. yeah so and i remember even in uni it affected the way i used i used to view women yeah mm. cuz you see them all you think is about sex yeah. Yeah. so they just become an object to you you get mm. yeah I, i i i really agree with that and i think for me the struggle was um you see the way you see a a hot good looking man mm-hmm. and then you get into this entanglement eh? <laughs> and now confess, you get confess. you get someone who is you see like that we are told about petting and yeah, things yeah. like those but you want to keep this man you know when you are young competition is high man It's competition you don't lose to lose your man so yeah, anything he says yes anything he says yes you know because when we're in uni there is no place where you like the way now we talk about being equally yoked mm. by then you're not really looking about who's equally yoked so mm-hmm. it's anyone he's good looking well i mm. got him first so uh let me keep him so you allow you allow some kind of things that are not really right mm. so the petting the th- those things that lead to a lot of things and you lose yourself in that like you really lose yourself in that and those are some of the struggles that i went through especially in university yeah yeah trying to please people in, instead of pleasing god yeah guys and, and honestly this these things might start, might start out as um uh, when you're still innocent in life yeah 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 so it starts out as fun but what you don't know is that you end up being hooked to this stuff yeah like i know it it took me more than four years now to say let me stop this thing. Yeah, yeah but even and the when, pornography yeah. leads to masturbation yeah, you and get, then leads yeah, to yeah true yeah so it took me like four years to mm. to get to stop yeah yeah like pornography yeah. but even after that now i can see the joy of being of being staying in purity living yeah, in purity. purity you get yeah. yeah yeah and also it might be because you're there like for me it was my friends who got me to it yeah, so, so that's yeah, why you, sure. you always need to be careful also who you are hanging around yeah, yeah. you get yeah and also uh, <clears throat> we are in a social media age where everything is in your hand you can just double tap your screen uh, i hear there's something called insta sexual eh? or, or what yeah where people are, untra- are only attracted to guys on Instagram you eh? get it, yeah eh? yeah i i mean that i, I hear eh? that's a thing oh well um yeah okay yeah i and hear I, it so and i really really like what you're saying because mm. um i think even as we come to a full conclusion of this mm-hmm. uh it's more about being intentional like job mm. it's yeah, more sure. about intentional about what you do you watch what you double tap mm-hmm. you watch how you text and what you text who you follow who matters. you follow yeah. the sites that you go to yeah. because at times like for example eh, let me just give the example <laughs> <laughs> so you see these people who go to uh, sites to watch um movies most of them cause they are blo- they are those ad blockers yeah, that yeah, when yeah. you haven't installed they start giving you some it's just as simple as clicking <laughs> on that site out of curiosity because yeah. uh, there are so many places where this has become this is the world now yeah yeah like over sexualization is just it everywhere. for us everywhere even in ad- advertisements even advertisements yeah. mm. so it's just about checking what you text the photos you send who you actually follow even the text yes. that you send yeah. yes mm. and even the things that you say and the things that you do cuz honestly no one can check you you're the only one who can check yourself yeah, true. by the way mm. and as we said god sees all and hears all so don't think you're over there alone mm. doing the things no one is looking if the cctv is not god is Yes, yeah. those ones who have CCTVs in their houses. Yeah, so, yeah, so just like Job, let's choose to make a covenant with our eyes. Mm. Yeah. That we will not look at yeah. a woman. Yeah. Or if you're a lady, a man, <laughs> covetously. Yeah, like lustfully, yeah. You get. Yeah. yeah. And we're not saying that you will not have these urges. Sexual True. urges are there. They come 
with adolescents, you will have them and it's okay to have them. Even with adulthood. Yes. Yeah. So it's it's more so what you do, <laughs> what you do with them yeah. and how you act. And if if you find yourself in such a situation, mm-hmm. there are so many other ways. You can read the Bible, you can pray, you can call an accountability partner mm. so that they can just help you to check yourself mm. when you can't do yeah. that for yourself. Yeah. And so people we wish we could give you a two step or three step plan yeah. <laughs> or now not to do this but mm. yeah human heart with human heart there is no guarantees yeah, yeah it's for true. me I normally wish I could tell people I have two words for you stop it <laughs> but yeah. it doesn't happen like but that. it doesn't get, happen it's yeah. true because I think our experiences are different and the people react differently yeah. but I think the one step that sums it all is just making a covenant with God yeah true to walk at like to walk a pure journey and, and to live a life that is pleasing is pleasing to, to God. him yeah, yeah. yeah just aligning yourself to what god desires for you that's it mm. it's simply that it because what he says you do you just live in obedience and then you'll never find yourself in these kinds of situations mm. or even yeah. if you find yourself there yeah you will have a way out yeah the bible says that there is no temptation that is not common unto man but with every temptation there is a door Yeah, there's a door. Yeah. Yeah. So even if you find yourself in it, there's a door yeah. that God run. always creates. Yeah, a way out for you. Run. Yeah. Yeah, you get. Yeah. Then you're told to run away from the devil. Yeah, like <laughs> run. Yeah. It's true. <laughs> like run. Yeah. There's yeah. always a a way out. There's always a way out. It's yeah. true. So even if you find yourself now in sin, it's cause you chose to. Yeah, yeah, but there's a way out you get. Yes, yeah, but, that choice. Yeah, if you feel like you've already messed up and you need to make it right, God mm. <clears throat> God is um God is a god of God loves is fond of second chances. Yeah. A thousand ch- infinity. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. So this is one that you should that uh you should choose to to accept it. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Uh so uh, can we pray? Yeah. Yeah. Pray for us, Nash. Pastor Nash. Okay, uh-huh. okay. Well, they selected the bishop. But, uh, uh, okay. okay, let us pray. Father, uh, we want to say thank you for this word uh, that you've spoken uh, through us and to, you, and to your people, young people out here. We know that we live in a, in, in a crazy world uh, that is full of different things, uh, full of different uh, tests and temptations, Lord. And even as we grow up, we grow up uh, having to battle through certain stuff, Lord, that we got ourselves into. Mm-hmm. But we know that you are a gracious God and you are a God of love and a God of second chances, Lord. Uh, and in this, Lord, today we choose, uh, I want to pray that who, any person who's watched this from young to old, uh, that they may choose to make a covenant uh, with their eyes not to look lustfully uh, at, a, uh, at a woman or any young man out there. And this is because you've told us that we should guard our hearts, Lord. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Because from out of it, there, there flows the issues of life. Yeah, mm-hmm. And we want, we want to live this life having that abundant life that you promised us. Mm-hmm. And this, this is one way to do it. Yeah to be careful of what we let in in our hearts mm. so that our mind and our soul may not de- may not be defiled and this is one way that you've called us to do it to love you with all of our hearts with all of our minds and with all of our strength yeah that we may not waste our youthful years yeah like just like the bible says that young men and even young women do not waste your strength on women and on men mm. yeah so that we may use that strength to serve you lord and we will know the joy of salvation mm. the joy of purity mm. yeah so but father give us the grace uh, give us the grace to to be able to walk in all of these uh, promises that you've given us lord through your word um and for them that maybe have found themselves in in, uh, in the temptations let them know that there's always a way out that you give them mm. yeah And it is in Jesus' name that we pray and believe. Amen. Amen. Yeah.